I guess he's going birdie. He's gonna flip him the bird. So we. So we got. We got the British punk against the terrorist. Rashid and Birdie. Here we go. Winner here gets into uh, loser, loser's finals for a chance at money. Not big money, but money nonetheless. Well, we've upped the price, so it's, it's, it's pretty decent. $8 a person pot. And for the people that are out already, we still we still got casual stations up, but we got some side tournaments going on. We got a casual stream going on right now. And we're still going to be here for a couple hours, so if you're just getting out of work or something and you want to come and play some casuals. Now would be the good time to do it. Yep. After uh, Street Fighter's done, we're going to throw some uh, Skullgirls on, see if we can get some people interested in playing some Skullgirls. And a Footwork says he plays a little bit of Skullgirls. I was hoping Adam was going to come up, but he said he was too broke after a uh, combo breaker. I mean, my po I mean, my pockets were already empty on combo breaker. You can <laughs> see I got I spent. You see the hat I already got. I mean, I got the hat. The shirt. Well, actually, the shirt was free. I was working. So, uh, so uh, what your names did you run down there? I was running Tekken Seven and Brawlhalla. I did. Tekken Seven was awesome. Was an awesome set. Was awesome. Brawlhalla was a little small, but it was still, but it was still awesome because he, and it went, and they both went down real smooth, and it was very easy to do the brackets. But they still insist on in training people who, so they can get used to doing, so they can get used to how they rent, how the brackets are supposed to be run in an in pool setting. Yeah. And I realized the pools at. Brackets on a pool are very, very different because when you play, because when you have like a 32-man pool, you going, you got to be making sure that you got, you got the brackets correct because you want to make sure who is going to be the winner, gonna be in the winners bracket, who's gonna be the losers bracket, because the winner and loser are the ones that are going, are the ones that are getting out of their pools and going on to the next, to the top 64, or top 32. So. Depending on how many people it is, it's... And they ran everything on paper down there, didn't they? Yes, they did. And you had paper your own little clipboard? Big, little, try big. I had a one big-ass chalk clipboard that, 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 would, that would almost be a desk, in my opinion. I, I mean, I could put my iPhone on it, so that way I could... And it was a good thing, because I could use my iPhone and keep track of the time, make sure that everything was running smoothly. I felt like a, a train conductor doing this, really. <laughs> It was nice. Did you have to? Did you have to DQ anybody? I had to. I had to DQ a couple people who didn't show up. It wasn't. It wasn't pretty, but I did it. Well, good, good. I had to DQ a shitload of people at uh, Yumicon. And a lot of people, like there was this one girl. I don't think she realized it was double elimination. She played her her first match in uh, in Injustice and then went, like left. I was like, girl, where are you at? Oh. Well, luckily, no, but the, they don't. They didn't show, so I DQ'd them who didn't. I only dq the people who didn't show. Oh, I'm sorry. The, ne the next match is not lo uh, uh, losers finals. It's loser semis. Yep. Oh, yeah, it is. Duh. But it was a good, ex nonetheless, it was a good experience. And hopefully I might be able to do it again. Because I feel like I got a knack for it. But of course, Brawlhalla, I did need a little help from Tubaware. Ah. Trying to get everyone together because some of them, some people were everywhere. And I had to go out and look for one, look for them one by one. All right, so Hollow ties it up one, one by one. So yeah, folks, if you're running, if you're out there and you're running tournaments and you need someone to run brackets for you, um, Mardon's your guy, and he's a gentleman. You 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 can even trust your girlfriend with him. 
There'll be no ass grabbery. That's true. <laughs> Andre would have no trouble uh, trusting Mardon standing next to his woman. All right, so that is a nice combo by Kobo. It's tied 1-1, one, one, so we're in the first round of the game three. Mike pops the V-trigger. Good uh, mix. But Kobo takes, I'm sorry, uh, Mike takes the round, though. Round two, game three. Nice anti-air jab. Gets the throw. Goes for the cross up, but nothing getting. Gets the eco kick. Goes for the overhead. Nice block by Mike. Mike throws uh, the banana down. Kobo's one. He'll he'll fish with that sweep a lot. Well, again. Mike checking. Again, throwing down the banana. Turn it into a combo though. Oh, catches him with Tornado into the spinning mixer. Neutral jump, good block by Mike. EX uh, Tornado. And my stream is shut down, folks. Sorry. Uh, oh, never mind. It's just nobody playing it at the moment. <laughs> All right, Hollow Mike just gave him the boot. Okay, so it's 2 1 SRM FTG Hollow. Corn King Cobalt down, but he's not out. Big yawns. Why am I yawning? It's only 9.20. Okay, here we go. Game four. All right, great. And Goble just doing it, and it's working. Takes with the overhead, goes down low. trying to destroy this giant, making sure that he doesn't set foot on it again. Throwing any more bananas, throwing any more cans. Nice heavy combo. With, some, with them big old chains that he's been licking on. Yeah. He got the did the Michigan cross up, put himself in the corner. Okay, so he's got V trigger now. Mike's to come in. He's gonna eat. He ate that uh, ex uh, spinny mixer. Oh, the crush counter. Mike answers back hard. So Cobra's got a lot of life. Now, had a lot of life, excuse me. All right, so uh, nice comeback. And Cobble scrubs that round out. Cobble, re I think, really needs to win this next round to stop Mike's momentum tied up 2 2. He wants, he wants to take this to game five. He needs to take it to game five. All right, here Keeping we go. that pressure going. He's keeping him in that corner as much as possible. I mean, look at all of that. All those jabs. All those. Ah, there we go. In a way, he's kind of faking Birdie out a lot. Making him think he's got a way out, and then boom, he just takes him out again. But this time, he is getting out. Ah. Uh, he's got the tornado out. Take that win. Birdie it. Oh, Mike read that. Yeah. Wants to shut him down. Overhead. It's the boat. Nope. Oh. Got an anti air on the Can he do something with it? Cobo sure using can. that secret Darius tech of just but doing it. Not good enough. And All right. just like that, we got it. It's tied. Mike's on game point here. Cobble needs this. He really needs to win this match. Nice jump in. Drops ah. a combo. Gets a headbutt for his trouble. And a boot to the head. 
He's gonna need a, he's gonna need Excedrin for Oh we'll miss the dolphin dive. Everything. Spinning mixer, he X tornado, puts on the pressure. Oh, he's oh. gonna throw out the tornado. He got the hit but didn't get kinda the confirmed. Make, kinda makes you wish that tornado could send him straight back to the corner. Nice overhead. Nice DP. I mean anti-air, whichever. I shouldn't say whichever, but he yeah. likes that the life lead here. Cobalt's trying oh, to go I in. Good out of that. Nice. Oh, I'm right, Mike V triggering. All right, he got himself out of the corner. Oh, Dolphin dive. It's over. He got Let's him. Stay like Follow staying. Cobalt's going. All right, let me get Darius on the stream. Uh, yeah, three one. one. 